Namaste everyone. Hope you all are doing good. I am Mahima Pai and I welcome you all to Gyan Pro's STEAM workshop in association with Acharya World School, Ramnagar. First, I would like to extend a hearty welcome to Mr. Ranjit Rajana, Director of Acharya World School. Welcome, sir. Hello, namaste. Namaste. Now, now I welcome our instructor for the day, Ms. Kritika Ashok, who is going to take you all in an amazing science work world for one hour. Namaste, ma'am. Welcome to the uh, workshop. Thank you. Yes. So, Tinker at Home is Gyan Pros, one of the amazing courses designed to kindle scientific reasoning in young minds. They say, as you sow, so shall you reap. We sow the seeds of curiosity and knowledge in the minds of young scientists like you all. So without any further delay, let's start the session. I know all of you are very excited just like us. So over to our instructor, Ms. Kritika. Thank you very much for your introduction and uh, I'll get back to you soon. Yes, thank you very much. So good evening. Hi, everybody. To all my little scientists there. Um, myself, Kritika. So I'll be your science friend for next hour. And I'll be uh, walking you through uh, different activities, experiments, okay, where we can learn science in a fun and engaging way. Okay. So before we uh, uh, begin with the workshop, I have something to tell you all. Uh, let it be more interactive. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to see you all, but you can talk to me through chat. So any questions that I post or ask you, you can post your uh, comments uh, or your answers on the comment section. Okay. So let's begin. I hope you all have kept your answers ready at your end. Okay. So today we are learning three different activities. So um, before we uh, get to know what is the concept that we are going to uh, learn? Uh, I'm not going to reveal the concept name. Instead, let me give you a that you can uh, that you can come up with the uh, answer. Okay. All right. So what you keep seeing here? It's a balloon, right? So I'm going to. I have two cases here. So first, I'm going to poke this balloon with my finger. So what do you think would happen? Will this balloon pop? Will it burst? So you can put your uh, answers in the comment section. So do you think it is going to pop? No. Right? Okay. Now when I take a thumb pin all right, and try to poke it. So now what will happen? The balloon will pop. Is that it? Okay. So in both the cases, we poke the balloon. But why in one case it popped, but in the other case it didn't? Open it, yeah. That's because. Any idea? Yeah, there are three things which is involved here. One is the pressure. Okay, it's all because of pressure. We have to understand what is pressure. We also need to know two more terms. Okay. So one is force and the other one is area. Okay. So pressure uh, is uh, pressure is equal to force by area. That is how we have learned, isn't it? But what is the relation between this pressure, force and area is something which we are going to understand in today's workshop. All right. So let's begin. So friend, uh, pressure and force, okay, they are friends. They are good friends, okay. They always do, uh, it's like whatever pressure does, the same thing the force also does, okay. But whereas area and pressure, they are not good friends. They always do opposite things, okay. So when area says, um, I'm going to increase, so pressure will be like, okay, I'm not going to increase, I'll do whatever you do. Opposite to whatever you do. Okay, so I'm going to decrease. So this is how their relation. 
force and pressure they are pressed so they always do the same thing but whereas area and pressure they are not good pressed they always do opposite thing so in our case first case when i try to poke the balloon with my finger what happened the area here is big is it the area is more when compared to a pin correct so what happened we increased the size of the area so what will happen to pressure it will decrease is it right? that is why the balloon will pop but whereas when you take a thumb pin or a safety pin the area is very small correct so what will happen when you pierce if area is small pressure is more therefore the balloon will pop in our second case so this is how pressure force and area work Okay, I'm sure that uh, you understood. If yes, you can put it in the chat. And also, my dear uh, children, if in case if I'm going too fast, you can let me know so that I can reduce my speed. All right. So this is what is pressure. So pressure is force by area. Right. Now, uh, as I told you, we have three different activities, and I'll be demonstrating. Right. So the best part is you're not just going to watch me. But instead, you will also do it along with me. All right. So I hope you are ready with the materials. If yes, just put it in the chat. Okay. All right. So let's begin with our first activity. So this first activity, I call it as "Do not open the bottle." Okay. Why should I not open the bottle? What is there in this bottle? Let us check. Okay. So for this experiment, we need. an empty bottle okay and you can have a tray or bowl underneath a thumb pin or a safety pin and some water okay so these are the materials which is required so now let's begin step 1 you uh, i just open my bottle cap so do you think there's something inside this bottle nothing sure okay there is air inside the bottle okay air inside and outside there is something which is giving shape to this bottle correct the air is exerting pressure inside as well as outside so there is air inside the bottle okay now step one what we are going to do take your thumb pin okay or safety pin anything we are going to make four to five holes around the bottle at the bottom Okay, you're going to make it make four to five holes. So make sure that you don't hurt your finger. Okay, be careful because thumb pin, safety pin, they are sharp. All right. So you can make four or five holes on a random place around the bottle. Okay. So if you are done, you can just put it in the chat. All right. So once you have done the hole. Two. I'm going to take this tray, place my bottle on the tray. Okay, I'm going to fill this bottle with water. So you might be wondering, isn't it? What is this? We've made hole and then filling bottle with water. Okay, let's see what is happening. What's going to happen? Okay, so please uh, keep the bottle inside a bowl or tray. Okay. So we are going to fill this bottle completely with water. The full full bottle you have to fill it with water. Okay, that is our step two. Then what you have to do is immediately close the bottle. Okay. I hope you are all done with this step. Step one, you are going to make holes. around the bottle at the bottle okay step 2 you're going to fill the bottle with water and then close it with the cap now lift the bottle on top what is this the water is not flowing out how is this possible even though we've made holes still the water doesn't flow out so do you think is this magic is it really magic no is it 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 is science all right so what is the science behind this activity now children when you are performing this activity please be away from your gadget 
okay laptop or phone so now what you're going to do is open the bottle cap so when you open the bottle cap you see your bottle act you know it started to act like a sprinkler system there's water which spilled out isn't it but when you close the cap the water doesn't flow out so what could be the reason any idea okay so let me reveal it let me reveal the science behind it so what's happening there's so much of air around us correct so there is also some amount of air inside this bottle can you see there is some space isn't it okay now when i open the bottle cap what happens the external air tries to get inside the bottle so when it is trying to get inside the bottle what does it do in air molecules it is applying pressure okay it is pushing it is putting pressure and pushing the water down since we have made holes the water tends to flow out when the bottle cap is open okay but when you close the bottle cap what happens there is no any external air which goes inside so therefore the water doesn't flow out it's very simple isn't it science is always fun so i hope you also enjoyed this activity so that is the reason we call it as do not open the bottle okay so if you are all done with this activity we shall proceed with the second activity so maybe you can put it in the chat yes we can go ahead okay so our second activity is called as raising water so all these three activities what yes so please excuse me with my lighting uh, there's path cut okay so our second activity as i said it is raising water so for this activity we would need a plate okay any plate is fine okay and then you need a small candle you can also use floating candles okay so make sure the candle size is small all right and then you can use any transparent glass all right transparent glass some water okay some water and then i'm going to use color uh just to make it more evident because all right i'm going to use color uh, it is again optional for you all okay you don't have to worry about the color okay if these materials are ready okay if these materials are ready we can now proceed are you all ready okay we need plate we need a small candle match box water okay that so step 1 you have a candle right so first we are going to fix the candle on the plate so children please be careful when you are using using match box okay so the way you have to light it it should be away from you don't take it towards you all right so i'm going to fix the candle my plate 
hope it is visible hope you are all able to see my activity yeah so here step 1 you are going to fix the candle like this on the plate okay step 2 step 2 you're going to pour water to your plate so make sure you fill the plate completely with water okay and so you're going to fill the plate completely with water all right so i hope you're all done step 1 you have to fix the candle to the plate step 2 fill the plate completely with water all right now what you have to do is step 3 light the candle okay you're going to light the candle let the candle burn for seconds i hope you are all doing it with me okay yeah okay right was here like the candle let it burn for few seconds okay so now what you have to observe in this activity is one okay we are going to cover this candle with the glass okay so when you cover the candle the first thing that you have to uh, watch observe is the flame okay we are going to observe what happens to the flame Second, you are going to observe what happens to the water. Okay, so these are the two observations that you have to do it. One is the flame. Second one is the water. Okay, so I'm just coloring my water so that it is evident for you all. Okay, I hope it is visible. You are able to see it. If no, please put it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, good to go. Shall we start? Okay. Here we go. Use a transparent glass. Three, two, one. I'm going to cover the candle with glass. You see that the candle flame put off in few seconds. So, once the candle flame is put off, the water immediately starts to rise up. Isn't it? Can anybody tell me what could be the reason why did this happen? Okay. So let me tell you. Uh, candle for a flame. Flame needs oxygen, right? Flame needs three things. So I'm going to reveal one. So another two important things what flame requires you have to find out and put it in the chat. Okay, one is uh, oxygen, isn't it? So when we covered the candle with glass, what happened inside air was being consumed by the flame. So once the whole air inside the glass was consumed, there was no more air to produce flame. Correct. So these three things, uh, three important things what a flame requires. Okay. even one thing is absent one material is absent flame cannot be produced okay it's called as fire triangle so please find out what is this fire triangle okay one is oxygen one important thing is oxygen okay so once the air inside the glass was consumed what happened there was no more air and therefore the flame put off so once the flame put off the external air okay it's creating high pressure isn't it the pressure is more compared to whatever is there inside the glass right so since the pressure outside is more it is pushing the water up okay so what is helping water to rise up 
it is the external air pressure so this is so fun is it children science is awesome yeah okay so this is called as a rising water activity so if you are all done let's move on to our third activity that's called as anti gravity water you might be wondering right in pressure class what are we learning about gravity isn't it so do not worry it's just the name that we've given for the activity okay let me just remove this part so for anti gravity water you would need a steel tumbler or some hard glass okay don't take this transparent which is glass material okay try to avoid glass material you can use glass uh, you know steel tumbler or tupperware some hard glass then you would require a hard cardboard all right a corrugated sheet or something which is of 10 cross 10 the cardboard size should be in such a way that you should be able to cover the mouth of the glass okay next step is we are going to fill i mean we would also need some water okay so these are the three materials which is required one is glass cardboard and some water okay if these things are ready we shall proceed further so step 1 what do you have to do we are going to fill this glass completely with water which means it should almost water has to overflow so that is the level of the water that you have to fill okay so let me fill the glass completely with water okay i hope even you have done it you are doing along with me i think this is step 1 step to children hold the glass firmly okay then take your cardboard cover the mouth of the glass okay cover the mouth of the glass hold it for few seconds okay put some pressure now you are going to turn it upside down all right you're going to turn it upside down so when you turn it upside down after that slowly take out your hand you see the cardboard didn't fall off the water didn't flow down yeah that is why we named it as anti gravity water <laughs> so gravity means something which pulls down but here the water doesn't flow out so it's a, it's just a gimmick name that we've given for the activity all right So now, what is the reason why didn't the cardboard fall off? It might look like magic, isn't it? But children, it is not magic. It is science. So science is magic, or magic is science. Post your answer. Science is magic, or magic is science. Is anybody answering? Okay, magic is science. Science cannot be magic. Okay, so um, what happened in this anti-gravity water? So when we covered the cardboard, okay, the mouth of the glass with cardboard and turned it upside down, below the cardboard there is some amount of air, correct? So that air is exerting pressure upward. Okay. It's, if suppose imagine this hand, my hand is the cardboard. Okay, there is some amount of air. It can be air available. It is not there. This is exerting pressure upward. In that, in many cases. Okay, so actually the air molecules are holding our cardboard. So that's so nice, isn't it? We have to say thanks to our air molecules. <laughs> All right. So that's how the cardboard will fall off. Pressure is one of the beautiful concept. So, with these three activity, I hope we understood 
what is pressure and how air pressure affects different objects right so let me uh, you know recall these activity name the first activity we understood how pressure pushes the water molecules isn't it so that activity was called as do not open the bottle so outside the pressure is more inside the bottle the pressure was low okay the pressure was like from high pressure to low pressure okay so that's our first activity second activity was rising water so we also understood there are three important things okay materials which is required for flame so one of the material i have revealed it oxygen the two more the fire triangle the two more materials you have to let me know okay you have to put it in the chat section and third we understood how this anti gravity water worked right so i hope you all enjoyed the session if you have any question you can post it in the uh, chat thank you very much science is always fun isn't it children if you have any doubt you can definitely post it we will answer to your question yes okay i hope every one of you enjoyed all the experiments right it was all fun right thank you so much kritika ma'am for teaching everyone these fun filled activities which you know they can uh, do back at their homes thank you so much so uh, now i request uh, mr ranjit rajana to address the gathering hello everyone um, i hope uh, all of you have enjoyed this science journey so far and i thank kritika madam for be, you know being a very smooth uh, all this uh, 40 minutes it was really easier for any students if they have arranged all the equipments what you have mentioned before uh, it's a very easy process to experience this i was really thankful to you and i'm uh, archaya word school now uh, is an academic partner with this uh, gantro technology i know gantro in since 10 years and i know like how much creative you people are and in a very short time uh, you are really very good in the physical terms but uh, due to this covid time and we have to do this online and you have done your best and uh, we are so happy and excited to be with you for uh, you know plenty more years and also like many parents had this doubt and had this questions like what they are their children you know they going to do soon after they go back to the school but introducing the important thing the why the acharya watch school is being an academic partner with the technology this uh, gantro technology is because soon after they come to school more than they study a regular basis they do more physical activities and more they do more science uh, programs and science activities and it will be easier for them to come back to the normal life because uh, many of them are really uh, they are scared you know what's going to be in the future they are missed one year education especially in this ramnagar district and it is a wonderful thing that we are introducing uh, this technology here and i'm uh, pretty sure that this is going to be useful Uh, useful in a very huge way 
and anyways and uh, also uh, regarding the admissions in the Acharya Award School, we are open all the time here. Anybody can visit us anytime during the weekdays. And uh, we wish you good luck for all the children who have attended this uh, uh, workshop. And also we are coming up with a more, you know, creative workshop uh, again, you know, sooner this, this month. And thank you all. Have a nice evening ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your kind words. So I have few instructions for the students who joined the workshop. You will be receiving an email from us where you will find a worksheet and a short quiz. So please do try attempting those. It will help you to check your level of understanding the concept. So by this, we reach the fag end of our program. I thank each one of you for joining us. We are sure you loved it. So please do like, share and comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.